Why is it so? Dr. Julius Sumner Miller brought science alive through his passion, his commitment and his fervour for the natural world. We thought we had a special friendship with him. I think he's mad. I love him. I think he was so clever at getting a lot of people who had no interest in science whatsoever to take an interest. He's just one of those gems. I think perhaps Carl Krzyzewski might be uh, our second Sumner Miller. When he died in 1987, the University of Sydney set up the Julius Sumner Miller Fellowship. The current Julius Sumner Miller Fellow is none other than Australia's favourite sleek geek, Dr Karl Kruzhenitsky. Dr Karl, you share the same passion, the same mm. enthusiasm, the same intellect. Probably not the go on yet. Thankfully not the same dress sense yeah. as Julius Sumner Miller. Who actually owns the collection? Where does um, it reside? It's owned by the Science Foundation for Physics within the University of Sydney. And bits of the collection go back half a century, century, even a century and a half. This one's cute. It's mm. sort of um, a pendulum. Now, your normal pendulum, long pendulum goes slowly, short pendulum goes quickly. Here you have bits of metal of all different lengths and you'd think they'd go at different speeds, but because of some fancy physics which Big Julie could explain, they all go at the, all same, go at the speed. same time. Oh. Now this next one here, this is just lovely. The mm. world's first steam engine was built by Hero of Alexandria, 150 BC. This copy is about a century old, put water, add heat, water turns into steam, comes out this way, Newton's law starts going in the other direction. Tuning fork, mm -hmm. middle C, 256. Yes. Slightly higher, this one, 258. Yep. Play them both together. You can hear a pulse there. Uh, pulse of beat, which is at two, uh, two hertz, which is the difference between them, and cop this one, this is neat. Look at that, what's that? The signature from the man himself. The man himself so that people wouldn't knock off his demo. <laughs> How cute is that? This is another old piece. If you look at that machining, that is mm -hmm. really old machining. Yeah. Helmholtz generator, basically the equivalent of a bottle with water blow over the top and you get a note. Different size bottles, different size notes. Mm -hmm. Old engineering. Don't know how old that one is. That's beautiful. It is. Mm -hmm. And this collection, it was all going to be thrown out at one stage. Yeah, but luckily some people saw the value of it and pulled it back. And that's why we have it today. Uh, these pipes have got a gauze in them. Run hot air through them. The gauze expands. You get a resonant cavity. And so you can get different notes out of them. And now this is one he did himself. Yeah. Were you watching the program when it was going to air? Yeah, I thought it was great. Yeah? It was very inspiring. Now I'll bring the other one into resonance with it. Do you feel that burden that you're carrying on this torch as a Julius Sumner Miller Fellow? Not a burden, an honour that I'm allowed yeah. to mess with people's minds and just amaze them about the awe and wonder of the universe around us. Now, how else can we change the pitch? Well, if I... Julius Sumner Miller inspired people around the world. And through this collection and people like Dr Carl, future generations will be able to ask... Why is it so?